Hello, I'm Ann Stevens with the Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office. I'm an Assistant State's Attorney for Mental Health. This is a brief look at the work that I am doing as a dedicated prosecutor for the programs within our court system that deal primarily with those individuals with substance abuse, mental health disorders, veterans issues, and accessing community health resources and putting them all together with those who are justice involved within the 17th Judicial Circuit. This has been funded by a grant from the Winnebago County Community Mental Health Board and a half cent sales tax. The Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office, the Assistant State's Attorney position, mental health specifically, was established in 2023. The funding was also then renewed in June of 2024 for an additional three years. This is, is an assistant state's attorney position or prosecutor who is dedicated solely to substance abuse, mental health, and behavioral health court programs within the 17th Judicial Circuit. These programs include the Winnebago County Drug Court, TIP Court, Therapeutic Intervention Court, or Mental Health Court, it has a couple names, the Veterans Treatment Court, and our new Misdemeanor Wellness Track. Those individuals involved with drug court are affected with a serious substance use disorder, which oftentimes is directly linked with the criminal activity that brought them into the court system. These participants are charged with felony level offenses and are facing possible sentences to the Illinois Department of Corrections. In the TIP court program, we assist individuals with significant mental illnesses, often also with co-occurring substance use disorders with both felony and misdemeanor offenses pending. The Veterans Treatment Courts work alongside of the Office of Veterans Affairs to service those veterans who have served their country but now need some help themselves. Where possible, resolutions to the pending criminal matters take into consideration options that may include the least amount of impact on a person's criminal history, such as certain types of probation or supervision that may result in charges being dismissed at the end of a successful performance on a term of probation. Oftentimes, individuals just needed to be offered the opportunity to make changes and to get themselves well, many of which have never been offered that opportunity nor knew how to do it on their own. The court-based programs offer individuals with addiction, mental health, behavioral health issues, the treatment and social services assistance they need to leave a, lead a life of wellness and avoid recidivism and ongoing participation in the criminal justice system. Helping to identify, screen, and monitor individuals who choose to participate in these programs, I will oversee their performances, which can last from a couple of months in the wellness track or up to two and a half years in drug court, tip court, or veterans treatment court. Also to resolve their pending legal matters is the main focus of my position. Those with serious mental illness that are serviced by myself in the programs that I am involved with include about 90 individuals. There's about another 150 individuals throughout the various programs with a serious substance use disorder. At any one given time, approximately 240 people through all the different tracks and problem solving courts are involved in some way, shape or form. We are deeply grateful to the Winnebago County Mental Health Board for this funding opportunity and renewal and look forward to assisting more individuals who are justice involved. We want them to get the treatment, counseling and access the resources they need to become a healthier person within our community, making our community stronger and reducing recidivism in Winnebago County. Thank you.